2023 Model 3 Underglow Kit. This little trim piece right here goes across here. Just pop that up and you have five 10 millimeter bolts holding that thing on. You're gonna have one right here, one right there, one right there, one right here, one right here. That whole piece just pops right up, super simple. You do wanna pop this out. You don't have to unplug it, just pop it out and fish it through the hole. Um, the 23 has a lithium ion battery and it doesn't have regular battery post. So what I did is I get my little poker here. There was a, uh, a screw hole right here for a bolt. So I ran a 10 millimeter bolt in right here and attached my ground wire to it. Super simple. And then this is the post the jump post if your battery died so I just put the metal uh, hook tool or the prong for the positive side of the uh, kit just fish it through the little hole right here and bent it over and then taped it up that's gonna be good enough that way you don't have to actually you could just poke a hole in that big power wire but you're you know, if Tesla wanted to say something, well, you poked a hole in the in the battery wires, we got to replace all the wet battery wire or something stupid like that. This is something that can be easily reversed without voiding your warranty and all that stuff. So, after you take all this stuff off, it opens it up, and you're like, oh, this is super easy. And then jack the car up, and then there's a uh, splash guard underneath this car, and there's like seven 10 millimeters and two 15 millimeters. You pop those out, splash guard comes right down. And you got a big giant hole. You can throw phew, freaking anything through there. Uh, two by four, whatever, it's just a wide open hole. So you fish your wires down, you fish your wires up, do what you need to do. And I zip tied to the grommet, the factory grommet for my wiring. And then I, I, this one just has two on the side, so I just went left and right. But if you have a front and rear, they're gonna chain together. Super easy, it's the same thing. Make sure you clean their undercarriage where you're gonna stick the neons with rubbing alcohol and a rag, get them good and squeaky, greasefully and free and clean so your neons will stick good. <clears throat> now, there is a power wire, a red and black power wire inside the car. Um, if you have a kit, you want to install inside if you take this out pops right up this pops right off first move your rubber grommet out of the way and there is a black and red power wire up in there big thick ones that you can tap onto uh, for constant power now there is another guy that showed you how to take this off. You want to access the cigarette lighter here. Um, this thing pops straight out like that. Got some clips all the way down. And then there are some screws holding this trim piece. And then you can fish your wire up through here to the cigarette lighter if you wanted to do that. But if you get a kit, that runs on your phone, Bluetooth. You can control it with your phone. You stay outside and you don't have to go through this firewall. Super easy. There is no longer a grommet on the 23 over here so you can access the firewall easily. So there is a boot down here on this car, a rubber, big rubber boot with wires on it. You can, if you take all that stuff off underneath the steering wheel, you can, it's gonna be tough. So, but you could poke a, a wire poker or coat hanger or something through there and probably get your wires through. But <clears throat> if you can avoid that, that's what I suggest. This kit here is awesome. Just and if you get a kit where it has a cigarette lighter, you get the uh, 
female cigarette lighter adapter you can plug it into that and then it'll have two wires coming off of it that you can wire into here but the control head if it has a control head you know you'd have to keep it out here or fish all those wires through the firewall somehow but yeah i highly suggest getting a kit that is hardwired so it's super easy to install peace out